Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Core Plays Phoenix Trade Ace Attorney. My name is Bobby. I'm Kevon Ray. And last time, we closed up the last little bit of the second day of court by saying, Oh, look, sleeping pills. Clearly something's going on. And then the judge was like, Go find evidence. Tomorrow's the last day or you're fucked. So that was fun. And then we show up to the studio. And it turns out, yeah, the fingerprints were on the sleeping pills. And the plate was laced with them, which is great. And what, what happens if the three days pass and they don't come to a, a thing? Is it just a mistrial or is Will Powers just in trouble? Don't know. It's almost like this entire court system has been poorly thought yeah, out for the not, expediency it, of the game. It's not great. Yeah. It, i tell you what probably happens. We lose. Yeah, and we, have to we get a game up. over. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens in real life if you lose a trial. A real life game over screen pops up and you die. Yeah. So it's impressive if you meet an old lawyer. Kudos to him. Give him a high five. Anyway, last time we left on a cliffhanger about what happened five years ago when uh, Jack Hammer and uh, D. Vasquez had some shit going on. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see what's going to happen with that right now. Yeah, we had to have this little helper chick explain what dirt is. Yeah. So that was great. <laughs> All right. So uh, could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Oh, so like a week ago. Time repeats itself. Because <laughs> someone died, and it was probably his fault. Yeah, because so, somebody sneezed. Yeah. Someone died? <laughs> it was an accident, of course. Well, yeah, everyone I've killed has been an accident, too. Anyway. <laughs> the producer, Ms. Vasquez, managed to hush it up. Ah, and that's the dirt she had on Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. Hmm. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid of what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldback? She was here at the studios back then, you know? Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Alrighty. So, yeah, I ain't got nothing else for you. And I guess we have to move back to the, uh, to the main gate. Talk to this old bag. <laughs> what? You're still slinking around. If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Call the pound? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? So, about that, uh, five years ago, what you got? Just, um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, uh-huh. Nichols! N Nichols? <laughs> Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, the assistant that we talked to. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Right. That's my line. <laughs> anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Wh whippersnappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? A little bit. <laughs> if that's a lie, you're lying, Phoenix. I can't... Uh, it's hard, so hard to read a lie that you know. It's like liar, liar. Anyways, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Yeah, what you got? I'm sorry, Miss Old Bag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Because it now has the fingerprints. Right? Uh, or would the plate be better? Probably this one. I mean, what do you think? 
I mean, sleeping pill problem is probably the best one. But I'm not exactly sure how she would interpret that. But then again, I like the idea of just handing her like an old steak plate. Yeah. And just being like, look. Ah, fuck it. What's she going to do? There was food here. <laughs> we don't believe in food. <laughs> Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Thank you. Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Mm -hmm. ha! I, I bet Powers put it in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except, I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I imagine if we did it the other way, it would have been like the swap. Like, just because he has sleeping pills, he could have even been using them himself. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So, this bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbeck? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, sir. Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She killed the paparazzi. <laughs> well, she has ties to the mafia. Same thing. <laughs> she silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> a photograph. Look at this photograph. Oh my, every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. So we weren't too far off with the things being bent and the roses being... Okay. Yeah. But, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. We used to be friends. I don't feel much <laughs> like talking about it. Come on now, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd said that. Yeah, that would have been great. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Okay. Cat's back. And he's being a dick. As per usual. <laughs> Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. No, Studio 2 is to the left. But anyways, why would he do that? Look, shut the fuck up at your head shake. That was a good joke. Was it? In voice. Fuck you. Anyways, I wonder if someone called him. Like, the director? Or the producer? Um... Is there anything Let's to go to Studio Two? Yeah, there's nothing really to examine there. So, boy, this <clears throat> bitch. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello. H e l l o. <laughs> Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Okay. Um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder, and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. 
Oh dear. Um. Ah, no. What? I wasn't aware I could do that. Oh yeah, profiles. I guess I, I guess I did kind of know that I could do that. Ah, uh, yeah. What you got here? No, no. Okay. I just, I just gotta talk to her some more. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... you did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. My Feyblood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manila. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could put you could talk about it in the trailer by yourselves. Oh, oh dear. Let's oh. present the picture. Oh, uh, it'd help if I press the right fucking button. It, yeah, it might. Yeah. She's she's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I... well... I have my ways. Old bag. O old She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway, <laughs> Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The... Uh, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more. Inside the trailer. Nick! She went inside the trailer! Okay. I kind of want to examine this thing now. There are some flowers here. Wow, so pretty! They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Ye oh, okay. Well, okay, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and move inside the trailer. <sighs> you came. Do be friends. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Come on, little sugar! Sorry, yeah, it's, it's stuck in my head. You're welcome. <laughs> Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez! You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. <sighs> so I'm a blackmailer now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. B but you were the cause. You pressured him. I did think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Exclamation mark. No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it. On purpose. That is what I mean. Oh, I, I don't like that art style. She's looking an awful lot like Miss Oldbag there. Yeah. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Just think, would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> but the security lady said it was an accident. And she's an idiot. Oh, well, she was a big fan of Hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of its hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Good for her. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. 
Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have given him a copy, or he could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? Well, what? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? Because she's the person on the left. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long. Boys, a race away. No! <laughs> I can't do that extended scream, no. In anything, anymore. Hold it right there, Pilgrim. Star Wars Episode Three ruined it forever. <laughs> no! <laughs> I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared! Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just I've wanted to say that line ever since <laughs> I became a detective. <laughs> Okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. I like the dick drawn on the whiteboard. The what? Well, Maya's is in the way now. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess that is a little <laughs> bit of a dick. Okay. T to be continued. But not really, we're just gonna keep going. Yeah. For like, ten more minutes. Yeah, we'll cut it off in the middle of the trial. Yeah. <laughs> As one does. And then we'll tell Because we are professionals. Yes. Then we'll tell Garrison, hey, it's all because you. We screw this up because of you. Because of you, I never record the full trial. Oh yeah? Because... Is that how that song goes? Yeah, man, I called up Kelly Clarkson, she said, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay. Well, she did not say that. It was the head of Felix. Right. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> it's good fun. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. There's no smoking in court. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. 
If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Do it when I'm not here. <laughs> but very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. Uh -huh. So to speak. Let's go Phoenix. Yeah, good for you, man. I mean, no accounting for taste, but you know, you do you. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon sharp. It ended at 4 p.m. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the, tra on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van in Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with all the monkey's head toppling over. Oh uh ho! -huh. But also, how did she know the monkey head toppling over? Anyways, and then how- never mind. I- I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick! Let's do it! Alright, so, uh, this bitch. I do not like her. Hmm? I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Yeah, alright. How do you know the time and all that stuff? By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this? Terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> the meeting began at noon sharp. It ended at 4 p.m. I mean, that pretty much matches what we have, right? I think so. Yeah? Okay. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. Wasn't there a rehearsal before? And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. <laughs> Maybe you could try remembering? <laughs> No. <laughs> the meeting ended at 4 p.m. and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. I think that's definitely needs a bit more. Hold on! You had Sal take you. What does that mean? You know what that means? It means just what I said. We already kind of covered this with the judge. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Sorry. Oh. Oh, right. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. That doesn't seem right. Because Sal Manella's was a bit earlier than that, right? Oh, I think it was 2.30, wasn't it? I don't recall. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Yeah, okay. Like, were their steaks also fucked up? That's a good point. Yeah. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish he said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure I'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere. <laughs> So, it clearly wants us to do something on that last one. Yeah. That's nice.
Alright, is there anything to produce? I'm not... Hmm. I mean, because that was uh, Will's steak. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, I guess. I mean, I guess it would, but we've got several fuck-ups. Yeah, for the pills or the plate. Yeah. Let's just try the plate. Objection. Yeah. Ha! As I thought. I'm not a thought. Yes, you are. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. Smack. But I say you did not. What, what's this now, Mr. Rat? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. And I know a thing or two about large bones. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. <laughs> this weird-ass head nod. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ain't at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were uh, no bones uh, left on the plates. There's no bones about it. I think we noticed that like four episodes ago. Yeah. And I'd kind of forgotten about it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the plates were bare. Uh. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? Very carefully. I took the bone home with me to give to my dog. Done. Right. Uh, you ate the bone too. <laughs> I think I know how. Uh, you ate a boneless steak, or you didn't eat the steak. I think it's you didn't eat yeah, the steak. Yeah, I, I... That would be the most damning one. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. Uh, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on some enough. That's probably that also bully. true, but she was, that, that's probably very true, but I'm assuming meeting the Steel Samurai. Yes. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Er but Mr. Rat, it, isn't that a little presumptuous? Your mom's presumptuous. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Oh shit, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I I think she could. It's... Oh no, I'm petite. I can't lift. 20 pounds? What? No. I no, mean, no. are we certain that the spear was the, was the murder weapon? Um... I think that everyone's just kind of assuming that. That's true. It could very well be the little fence thing. That... I think that they would have fixed it if it was just from that murder from before. You would think. But maybe not. I don't know. She probably couldn't lift it. She's too small. Yeah. I think that's what the game is trying to go for. Yeah. So, probably this middle one. Sure. Yeah. I think it's wrong, but I think that's what the game is trying to lead us towards. So, meh. I think you would have... I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. 
meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Uh, can I? Because <laughs> um, it's like broken, right? Should yeah. we present the spear itself? I, A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Yeah, alright. Remember we trying to do that like for four fucking episodes and it's just like, No, it's fine. Duct tape fixes it. Oh yeah? Ah, <sighs> these motherfuckers. Anyways, I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. <laughs> Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Oh shit. Are you quite sane? Are, are you even uh, aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Rat, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can be sometimes <laughs> unfounded, Mr. Rat. <laughs> Fuck you, Judge. <laughs> oh, that's Very great. Well. Let's see this murder weapon then. The old photo, right? Yeah. Uh, not... Was it that one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Look at this photograph. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> what is this? Every time you do, it'll make you laugh. Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs. With a tennis racket. Or squash oh, racket, order. whatever. Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Rat, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does that have to do with this current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. Why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Uh, everybody can see that, because oh. it's fucking delicious. That is true. And, you know, clearly should be one of our sponsors. Yeah, sponsor us Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, we can reach we, you we all... We can see why kids love it. Yeah, we can get you all of one additional viewer. That's true. Because Garrison <laughs> doesn't know about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, <laughs> I would assume not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know him. I would assume he doesn't know anything about anything except dank waifus. Eh, semi-dank waifus. Only the best waifus. Mostly in superpowers. Except He's Angela mostly DeSoto. Right. <laughs> For some reason, he likes Angela DeSoto. She's great! She is the worst. I like her. She's Anyway, awful. continue. We've done this <laughs> dance like 30 times. Yeah. Fuck. It used to be Harry Potter and Dresden, and now it's Angela DeSoto as a cunt. So anyways, see the, see the fallen man in this photo. See how that fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying... Yes. Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Oh. Shut the fuck up, Mr. Rat. Continue. So should we call it here? Yes, I think we should. <laughs> Rather than saying, order, order, just shut the fuck up. Yeah, this is the perfect spot to, to save and end this episode on a cliffhanger. Oh. Right? So, okay. Next time we're going to figure out how accurate this whole thing is. I still think the assistant chick could have done it. I, I, I think we're probably leaving that one behind at this point. Probably, but it would have been better. 
Like there's this last minute turnaround and the whole thing that would have been great. Yeah. Anyways. Alright. Fine. Yes. So we should probably do our shout outs with my whole theory ruined now about who did it. <laughs> Feel all you sad. Were <laughs> to be fair, you thought that she was the producer at some point. Which would have also been way more interesting. You're right. So there was that. Yeah. Anyway, let's do shout outs. So this isn't technically an AMV because AMV stands for animated music video, but this is not animated. It's just the like one of those things where they take like a, a movie clips and they put it over a song and put it on YouTube. Very popular on YouTube in the in the mid aughts. I think they still call that an AMV. I think it's still called but an AMV. It's just technically not an AMV. So right. I want to specify. Anyway, so this morning I was looking up uh, some additional Melanie C videos as I do, because. <laughs> Look, man, don't judge me. And he sends me some really weird ones. Look, it's good. Oh, yeah, the toothbrush thing, too. <laughs> but um, that's different. Anyway, so I was looking up Melanie C videos because I really like them. And I saw that somebody made an AMV using uh, Harry Potter clips and the song Enemy from Melanie C's album The Sea, which is like my second favorite song of hers from my favorite album of hers over one of my very favorite ever media franchises. So, of course, I watched it. And it was pretty fucking good. I really like it. Um, and I, I even sent it to my friend Courtney on Twitter. It was great. Um, nice. Anyway. So, I, yeah, I'm giving a shout out to this to this particular AMV, um, which was all, which was, the channel was Best of Melanie C, I think it was what the channel was called. Um, which is fair enough. But specifically, I'm doing a shout out to this video because I really enjoyed it. It's a great song and it fits the, the theme of Harry Potter really well. So, I really liked it, and it was great editing, so I'd, I'd definitely check it out if I were you. Cool beans. Yeah. Alright, so my shout-out is going towards a actress, uh, Cara G. C-A-R-A space G-E-E-E. G-E-E-E. G-E-E-E-E. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Bobby's a dolphin. Uh, she's been in a number of things. She's not super high-profile yet, but if you're a sci-fi fan, you've almost certainly seen her. She plays drummer in the show The Expanse. Which is a fucking awesome show, and she is awesome in it. And one thing that I especially like about it is that she has this very unique accent in the show, and she fucking nails it every single time, and it doesn't change. It's really, really good. And the show is already pretty complicated because she's a belter, so she's out like in the asteroid belt and all that stuff. They have a unique accent, unique way of talking. That's sort of like this affected islander speak that you get from like a whole bunch of different cultures mixing together. And I've traveled around enough that I've heard something very similar in a number of different places. And she did it really, really well. And she even does, like, the clipping at the end of her sentences where, like, English might have been, like, her second language and all that stuff. She really nailed it. Right. Um, but she's also incredibly hot in the show. Oh. And I want her to beat the shit out of me. So. <laughs> Don't kink shame me. <laughs> right? Now, you can look up things over, like, interviews and all that stuff. And that's not her normal accent at all. She's a very, like, sweet individual in all of her interviews that I've seen. So, I'm assuming that's not what she's actually normally known for. Uh, looking up on her Wikipedia page, she does a lot of stage acting up in Canada. And I think that's what she's more known for there. But I really like her in The Expanse. And I'm excited because we get more episodes in December of 2019 and I want to see more of her. So yeah, I'm happy. Nice. And I think she's great. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Hopefully, guys. the conclusion of this case. Nope, it's never gonna end. We're gonna go out on an investigation again <laughs> and rifle through Penny's drawers. Anyway. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> hey. All right. See you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>